Welcome. In this playthrough of Space Marine Adventures, Labyrinth of the Necrons, we continue on in our campaign to level two. So our level two mission briefing, Space Marines must neutralize the primary Lich Guard before activating the control console on the objective square to open the portal and proceed to the next level. And that is sitting right here. The first Lich Guard placed during the Populate Labyrinth step is the primary Lich Guard and must be destroyed. Once destroyed, a Space Marine can attempt to activate the control console if he is in, if he is standing on the objective square. This is described on level one mission briefing, so we need to be here and roll a six. Once a control console has been activated, flip all the portal counters over. One of them will show an open symbol and this is now treated as the empty space. Place the spare stairwell tile adjacent to the newly opened portal so that it extends from that square. Game ends if all the Space Marines have been taken out of action. All the Space Marines on the board are on the new tile or the Labyrinth deck runs out. And this is a new stack of cards there. At the end of the game, any Space Marines that are not on the new stairwell tile are immediately taken out of action. If all the Marines have been taken out of action, the players lose the campaign. Otherwise, all the remaining Space Marines on the new stairwell tile have successfully completed level two and can proceed to level three. So to finish our setup, we're gonna randomize these a bit and place those around the edge of the board. We're gonna roll a six to see where our Lich Guard is going to start. Oh, rolling a six, didn't mean it like that. So this is gonna be our primary. And these are going to go in all the other spaces. So he starts here, which so he's protecting the uh, console. Makes sense. We have two each of all the activation cards. We'll give that a shuffle. Then our Necron deck. Giving that a final shuffle. Then the Necrons we're facing. Our Warriors, we need a three or higher to defeat. The Mortals, we need a four or higher. And the Lich Guards, five or higher. So with all that set up, we're gonna get eight more cards here and then attach one to each of our Space Marines. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Before we do that, Refresher, Brother Grimm, range of eight, three actions, he gets to add a die, so unless there's a, or add to the dice, unless there's a Necron adjacent to him. He's got the Armor of Contempt, so he can use this any time during his turn till the end of this round. That Space Marine cannot be wounded. Then we have Sergeant Cassius, range of four, four actions. Add one to the dice if he's adjacent to a Necron. And he's basically got a healing potion if someone gets wounded. We can go adjacent to him and use that and flip him back over. Brother Infernus, range of three, three actions. If he rolls a six, uh, he destroys all the Necrons adjacent to the one he targeted. He's got the Anvil of Strength. So play any time during his turn. He immediately performs a free attack action against each Necron. The score adjacent to him, adding three to each dice roll. And Frostclaw, range of six, four actions. He gets a free action against an adjacent Necron each turn. And he can perform two free actions with this card against uh, Necrons this turn. Uh, until the end of the turn, he performs an attack and the attack fails, he gets to re-roll the dice just once. So our other options, we've got Rites of Battle. Use this at the start of the Space Marine's turn. This uh, Marine skips its turn, but the controlling player can choose another Space Marine on the board to have a turn instead. He's got a Blessing. Till the end of the turn, if this Space Marine attempts to activate the control count console on level one or two, They'll be successful on a five or six. Suffer not the alien to live. Let's see, until the end of the round, this base marine attacks a Necron and it fails, gets to reroll the dice. And they shall know no fear. Uh, the space marine can immediately perform two free actions. 
And then this is for Sergeant Cassius. Play this card at any point during his turn. Till the end of the turn, increase his actions to five and add one to the dice when he performs an attack. Armor of Contempt, we've seen that one. So it can't be wounded for the rest of a round. Codex, Cassius, uh, play this card at any point during his turn. Every Space Marine on the board in any order chosen by Cassius can immediately perform one free action. And a Crack Grenade. All right, I'm going to give the blessing. So I want to get him to the console on Frostclaw. Rites of Battle. We'll go ahead and give that to Brother Infernus. This one has to go to Cassius. That allows everyone to get one free action. And no, no fear. Forming two free actions. So that's our setup. We can get started here, starting with the Necrons, of course. And they are going to bring out a minion counter on square three, which is right here. And I'm going to go ahead and make him the, just put that there so I know he's the preferred one. Next, Necrons go again. Area five, so that's going to get three. Then again, area two. All right, well, there's all four of those. Area two. And I guess we'll get some turns in now. Starting with Frostclaw. One, two, three, four. Done. And furnace. One, two, and shoot. Needing a three, getting a six. Then we've got Grim. That's as far as he can go. Cassius, one, two, three, four. Man, hate it when the dice or the actions come up that way. One, two, three. It's not gonna look good for him here shortly. Once again, he's got a turn wasted. This is not going well. One, two, he's gonna shoot here. Needing a five. Maybe that wasn't the best thing to do. One, two, three, free action. And final, all right, not a good start. So that round did not go well at all. I'm trying to mix those up. And hope this round goes a lot better. Had a lot of wasted turns without any movement. All right, Frost Claw. It's not the way we want him moving. One, free action. Needing a five. Second action. Third action and final action. Needing a three. Necrons coming out on area three which is here. And we've got Grim. So he gets plus one attack on that guy, so he just needs a four. 
Action one, action two, and action three. Action one, free attack, needing a four. So two, three, and final action. Next, I'm gonna shoot down here for action one. Action two, and action three. Necron spawning in spot two, which is up here. Brings out a warrior, then Grim. One needs a three. And moving for the final. Cassius, one, two, three, four. Necrons, Chronofield. Next Space Marine who has a turn, doesn't. Okay, let's put that over here. Necrons, reanimation protocols. So our warriors are now gonna have a resilience of four till the end of the next round. So finish this round and one more. Then Cassius wants to go, but was struck with a chrono field. And we're up to Infernus. He's gonna shoot here. First action needs a five. Six works. So with him, he rolls a six, he destroys the Necron he was targeting and eats adjacent one. So that was one, two, three. And after this next round, that'll go away. And I wish I had oversized sleeves. I shuffle so much better. All right. Free action there. Feels bad about himself. First action. Second action, oh good grief. Third action, <laughs> moving. All right, Cassius. One, two, three, four. Grim. At a range of eight, he's gonna shoot here. So it needs a four. Second action. Third action. All right, took care of two warriors. Next, Cassius. Needs a five there. Action one. Two. Three, all right. So now that can be activated. Um, he's just gonna stand there. No, he'll shoot that direction. Needing a four and missing. So one, two, so they can shoot diagonally, they just can't move diagonally. And shooting into there, getting a four, not getting it. So they're area six, right down here. Hey, Lich Guard's back. 
And now areas one and five. So one is there, five is up here. The regular warrior and an immortal. And Necrons again, area six, which is here. So spawn there first and then down there. Area four. All right, so once you go three different directions, can't. So one's going this way. Then the next closest is that way. One's gonna land on him, so he becomes wounded. And then he gets to take a turn. So he's gonna use his right to battle. Well, he'll take his turn. Aiming there first, needing a four. Aim up there, needing a four. Same spot. Action one, free action. Two, three, four. He's just going to take three shots going this direction. He fours all the way across. So one, two, three. All right. Round is done. This can go away. And see how we get this mixed up this time. Next round, Cassius. It's plus one for attacking that. So needs a three. Whoops. Well, it gets plus one. So the two plus is one for adjacent is enough. He's going to take another action. Turn the data card, use this any time during the Space Marine's turn. Turn the data card of the Space Marine or that of a adjacent one. So that's not even an action, that's just to use it. All right, so we're adjacent to him. He's healed and this gets put back in the box. So it was one action for attack, two, three. So I need a four. All right. Next. Shooting here. Needing a five, one, two, and three actions. So one, two, three, free action attack. Needing a three, got it. Final action there. Then he is going to shoot down here, needing a three. And with his range of eight, shooting over here, needing a five or I'm four. All right. One, two, three, four. He'll jump up there. Action one. So he's got three turns. He's gonna go ahead and use his blessings. So he needs a five or six to activate. One, two, three. All right, activated. 
that's where we need to go. So we'll just move this on down. Plop that there. We've got our exit routes. Next turns, the Necrons. Invasion beam at three and six. Three is there, six. So an immortal and an immortal. Necrons want to go again at two and four. So two and four. A warrior and another warrior. Necrons want to go again, area three, which is here. So we're going to get two spread out. Area four. I want you to go in three directions. That did not work well for us. So Cassius and Infernus. All right, green. Shooting straight ahead, needing fours. Shooting to the side. Well, needs threes, my bad. One more action. It's afraid to move up. Brother Grimm shoots. Shoots again. And do I risk going there? I think he'll move up one. Because of the timing on this, he can't use his armor because this is the end of the round now. Necrons, area one, back here. Necrons, of course, area one. So one, two, and three. Frostclaw, one, free attack. Two, three. He's gonna shoot. And miss. Jason here, so just need a three on that one. Action one, two, three, four. So one, attacking. Attacking again. All right, it's going to shoot here. And hit. And action two and three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Necrons. All right, so our mortals now have a resilience of five till the end of the next round. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Reanimation protocols. 
So our Lich Guards, Resilience of six. And another round. And I hope these are getting divided up good. All right. Necrons, area four, right here. Nope, he's got a Lich Guard. Uh-oh. Area five, right here. And we're surrounded. Immortal. All right, free attack action there. Needing a five. Let's see, what's he got going on? Perform two free attack actions against adjacent Necrons this turn. Yep, we're gonna do that. So first free on here, and if we fail, we get a one reroll, so we need a five, get a reroll. All right, second free attack action. Wait, that was free, so one, two, three, four. Yeah, free down here, needing a six. With a reroll, got him. So those were free actions. So one, two, three, four. Step back one. One, two, three. Scarab Swarm till the end of the next round. All Space Marines are able to perform one less action than normal. Place this card face up next to the board. That's nasty. Chrono Field, next Space Marine's gonna miss his turn. Turn is skipped. One. It's only got two actions. Three actions, one, two, three. One, two, all right, we made it through. So our next mission, we can take all this stuff off. We are going to be coming onto the board like so. We'll see which side of this map we're using. One to three as is. Four to six, the other side. All right. We will be coming in as is. So next up is level three. And we have two wounded heroes. And in this next battle, I believe we are going up against the Necron Overlord. So as always, hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.